Of course, the games uh, will be held uh, in uh, Juba. Now, let's uh, steal the stick uh, with uh, Bunge FC. And, of course, the members are legislators. And uh, they are hoping that Kenya's uh, football uh, suspension may be lifted soon so that everything can go back uh, to normalcy. Let's listen in. To actually engage with the football managers in this country. Football has been mismanaged in this country badly. So once uh, the new CS uh, settles in and the, uh, the appoint appears, we as Bunga FC will also engage with them. We will give them any assistance that they need uh, in terms of parliament. But we will also expect of them to reorganize this game in such a way that we will not only be readmitted uh, to play now competitive soccer, but in such a way that we can also get somewhere with football, the way we've gotten somewhere with athletics. It's a, it's a terrible situation. You remember, I spoke a, lo uh, a lot about this. I, uh, we warned uh, the former CS Amina Mohammed in parliament that uh, football is a global sport. We are not an island where we think that uh, we can manage it on our own. There are statutes and there are laws for which Kenya has signed up to. And uh, if and when there are difficulties, as she uh, alleged in the management of football, then she ought to have followed the laid down statute, uh, statutes of ensuring that uh, she brings uh, good order to the good game of football. Unfortunately, uh, she did not uh, listen to us. It resulted in the ban, where for the last almost uh, one year now, our sportsmen have been in the dark. Uh, I'm heartbroken because I, I really love football. I invest uh, a lot in football programs in my county because I know it's uh, just like education. It's a one silver bullet where if you uh, get it right, you can really give a, a, a life chance to many young people. Therefore, my advice to the new uh, cabinet secretary, the Honorable uh, Ababu Namwamba, he's not new in this sector. He's a good fan of football. He understands how global football administration runs. My advice is only one. In February of this year, FIFA wrote to CS Amina Mohammed and laid down the conditions which Kenya has to meet for us to be admitted back first to the global football competitions. Then if there are things that we need to uh, manage locally, we can handle it. I, my good advice to, uh, to my friend Ababu, follow what, uh, the, what, what, what FIFA uh, demanded of us. I think there were two conditions that they laid down for us that they expected us to uh, follow. Once we adhere to, I believe uh, within a very short time we should be admitted back. Uh, there's a lot to, uh, to, to, to handle in that particular department. As we speak today, Harambe Stars does not have a field uh, to play in. This Nyayo Stadium is banned. Uh, Kasarani Stadium is banned, you know, and it's just over little, very little adjustments, lights that are not working, uh, security uh, gates, uh, water that is not present in the stadium. I believe with a small uh, budgetary allocation from the sports fund, you should be able to do a spruce up of uh, both stadiums and at least manage us back because I expect that we as a country, if we put our act together, then we should be able to join uh, the rest of the East African community, that is Tanzania and Uganda, in bidding for AFCON 2027. And I believe it's, it's an achievable uh, target if we get our act together. Therefore, uh, over to you, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, put things in order, return uh, football back to the fans, and also ensure that we have good stadiums beginning with Nyayo and Kasarani. Thank you. Last question. You have just talked about uh, 2027 bid of AFCON. So do you think maybe uh, his honorable President Ruto's administration, that's part of the plan you guys have maybe to bring the... Yes, yes, we have. And I have spoken, uh, personally, I've spoken to the president about this and I have uh, impressed on him uh, the need to ensure that once the CS comes into office, he receives the necessary budget allocation, first of all, to uh, get our stadiums, uh, that is uh, Nyayo and Kasarani, uh, together with the six regional stadiums that we have been putting up together, and other uh, stadiums, say like uh, City Stadium, get them up to international uh, level where we can uh, be able to compete. Then by 2025, when we do the bidding for AFCON 2027, then I believe we can uh, give a good account. This is a time for East Africa to host. So we should not let that opportunity pass. Otherwise, if we don't prepare ourselves uh, well, uh, Tanzania and Uganda will grab this opportunity. Yet everybody knows across Africa that when it's a turn for East Africa, then the anchor host should be Kenya because we have all the necessary facilities save for the most important, which is the stadiums. Well, of course, we'll see how that uh, joint bid uh, between